cry out for help. Yeah. Oh! Playing the opening! Our battle will be legendary! Yo, what's up, Tailfam Nation? It's A the Tailfam Monster here again, and we are back with Classroom of the Elite Season 3, Episode 11. It's finally time for the chess match. Yeah, this is Ayana Koji versus Sake Anagi. Finally, like literally, that's the title of the chapter in the light novel. So, yeah, this is gonna be so epic because how many pages does it have? Um, so, yeah, they skipped out the the five events that they picked and then they entered the special building yeah so they all they also skipped the uh the greetings with each captain or commander and then that's where ryuin comes in so yeah we're at page 300 yeah so they really skipped out a lot <laughs> well anyway this is it here we go so we're starting off somewhere around at this page yeah so they're adapting this all of this this is up to page page 441 so yeah i feel like they will adapt the epilogue in the next episode but we'll have to wait and see and i hope they skip the opening and ending theme both <laughs> okay for a fully fleshed out fight Okay, that's all I want and that's all I ask. Every fan asks for a skip of opening and ending theme all at once. <laughs> okay, not just the opening but also the ending theme. Or not just the ending theme but also the opening. Okay, vice versa. <laughs> this is gonna be so f freaking epic. Like, I cannot wait. Although, my energy seems kind of low because I'm really exhausted. I'm tired. Yeah, I only slept at, I think, four hours, so. Please do forgive me for that one. I didn't get to rest because, yeah, I got back home at 5 p.m., so. Let's see how this uh, episode performs in, on my channel and as well as uh, how this adaptation goes because the thumbnail on Musasia is Sake Nagi in the white room. And, uh, yeah, Crunchyroll also showed us a bit of a sneak peek on this episode, the chess match and the white room where Ayana Koji is playing chess. I can't wait because this is kind of volume zero content, but not really. Technically, it is because it is volume 11 Sakai Nagi's monologue or some more like Sakai Nagi's flashbacks, you know or her story in the past and the title is uh about love this is like i said from the preview the episode preview reaction that i did this is basically sake Nagi's love towards ayana koji it's kind of a twisted love kind of thing so yeah anyway let's see how this episode goes the last episode like i said is uh it did perform well on my channel although it's not as good as the tsukishiro scene and the um the expulsion exam yeah uh surprisingly because hirata's backstory is one of the best episodes as well although they made aunt koji so edgy again <laughs> although he is edgy in the light novel and then so far as well he is getting more and more edgy in the light novel so i think that is why the author approves of ayana koji being edgy in the anime i don't know that's just me anyway uh i'm only gonna do one or two comments of the week by the way in case you guys didn't know um from the post script from uh, the author kinugasa sensei uh from year two volume 11 of clash with the elite yeah he is currently on hiatus he is currently on hold because of his health right now i think it is called hernia if you uh if you know what that is it's uh i think it's pretty serious so yeah um that's why he is holding a break for now in writing and i think that is best for all of us because we don't want the author getting sick Especially it's a health problem. We all don't want that. If we all want more of uh, Clash with the Elite, then we should all just give our prayers and uh, sending wishes for Kinugasa Sensei's uh, health to be better. So 
so that is all i didn't mention this i forgot to mention this because of my uh mental block right now so uh yeah anyway back to the video we cannot forget the comments of the week all right here we go so uh, i'm sorry because uh, like i said i'm exhausted but anyway can't wait for the episode though from at champion underscore 77 studio lurch is too good in adapting backstories another peak episode the animation was also good next episodes if lurch ever animate volume zero they will definitely cook indeed i agree <laughs> From at speedcuber8037, if Lurch is so good in backstory adaptation, they definitely should make a movie of Volume Zero. This episode also was very peak. So good as Agent Liz is maybe even better. I am really looking forward to adaptation of Flash Mental Math, Chess, but with other exams. Remembering Volume 5 adaptation, I have no idea how they're gonna adapt it or adapt that. By the way, we have Ichinose versus Ryu, and how are they gonna <laughs> fit them as well? As Arisu monologue and story from her childhood in the White Room. I have big expectation for full chess match. Yeah, me too, man. All right, let's do another one. From at Nightcore WB four nine four nine lurch where's my bench illustration aside from that the episode was peak <laughs> a lot of us complained about the uh the bench scene because they didn't adapt that like and also they didn't adapt ayana koji saying that she that he also wants a friend you know to cry on and to rely on like this being vulnerable with someone your friend so yeah anyway patreon shout out obviously goes to these two lovely members over on my patreon they they can watch this full reaction way ahead of you all over on my patreon so um yeah because this editing takes time compared to patreon it's right there no copyright whatsoever so they can fully watch my reaction so yeah with no interruption so uh yeah martian rogue knight thank you for supporting me over on my patreon on the highest tier so yeah before we begin please drop a like comment share and subscribe to the post audio something like that any of my video please drop us on the channel with them said without further ado without further delay let's get right into it I'm a bit late. Sorry. The white room. Is it? No, it's the... It is! <gasps> no opening. Yo! This is some volume zero content. Oh my god. Oh, got a short glimpse. Oh, this is so cool. What the heck? They were supposed to be facing each other, but anyway. There we go. Chess. <laughs> I like her. You don't even know who he is. Randomized. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, basketball. Okay. Okay, slideshow. Okay, I kind of expected this. They really have to speed run this now. I mean, if you guys remember in the line out, well, it wasn't really shown that much. No Kito? Hmm. 
dude. Oh, they didn't slideshow that time. Shit. Okay. It was the voice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Damn! This. Let's go! Okay, let's go. At least they're showing off. They're showing off. Okay, Lurch, I see you. I see you. Let's go. I knew they would win. Yeah, I do remember they won this one. <laughs> uh, this is a new OST, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, very sad. <laughs> oh, Hakase. English test. Okay, now they're speedrunning things up. Okay, yeah. I think I do remember it being like this. Like, speed it up. I knew that was the English test. I knew it. Oh, so this is not flash mental math yet. Just regular math. Okay, archery. Flash mental math next. That's the sixth one, right? Flash mental. Yes! Yes! Ooh, here we go. Tamiya Okay. Okay. They're showing it up. Oh! Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Speed it up. Going is like. <laughs> Ten. Yep. One. Yep. Exactly. And so does Ayanokoji. <laughs> okay, so that's why they have the pen. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Ayanokoji. Call him out. Yeah. Oh, let's go, Koenji! Yeah. She's not messing around, though. Yeah. Oh, they're foreshadowing! They're foreshadowing Matsushita's involvement with the Anakoji next! <gasps> Matsushita will be like, oh, how did the Yanakoji get that right? <laughs> it's a tie. <laughs> Final test. Final event. Chess. The long-awaited chess match. <laughs> Let's go. Yes! The main event! <laughs> yep, for 30 minutes. Oh, this is gonna be peak. Oh, I can't wait, though. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh my god! They're actually... Is this uh, Sake and Agi's monologue this time? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Aww. Oh, that's her cane. I didn't see that earlier. Huh? So, yeah, she was just 
So that it's a support. Okay. Yep. Toot. Secluded area with only two of them. Final exam. Oh, here we go. ちょっと覚えて数ヶ月だからさ。手加減してくれよ。ちょちょ。いや、ノーワンアウトデアイズストロングザンミー。ダリーズインディーツルーだよ。負ける気がしない。あ、デアーユーシングトリーディーディスタ
<laughs> yeah, all about DNA. Nature versus nurture. Hmm. Oh, there's still time. So are they gonna show Tsukishiro's involvement? Spoilers. Yeah, they are! Okay. Wow, so... They're actually... Ending Volume 11. Nanda. Not satisfied. Yeah, it was a blunder. It was a mistake. Uh, liar! He's lying! Yeah, here's here's the devious man. Here's the menace. <laughs> yeah. You interfered. Yeah. <laughs> you interfered. さらなる一手を打っていたのですよ。私たちの試験に優勢。いや。いや。なぜそのことを告発しなかったのですか。自分の隠された事情を表立たにするようなまで。彼にできると思いますか? いや、ルガーシズナサティスファイド。アヤノコジ君にプロテクトポイントなどというものを。いや、ディスガイ。え、そう。喜んではいかがです。シズナサティスファイド。この代償は高くつきますよ。子供風情が随分と面白いことを口
uh they've always done chess in the 3d format so i expected that so um yeah but other than that though all of this like from beginning to end this has been one of my favorite episodes thus far and it has very well entertained me from beginning to end the white room flashback and the <laughs> the chess match and some of the events the flash arithmetic or the flash mental math bro <laughs> yeah this is all i ever wanted and yeah thank you for adapting this lurch because finally we've all seen the anime like it or not hate it whatever you want to do with the anime <laughs> it's up to you but to me i will forever be grateful that i am now finally like my wish has been fulfilled <laughs> i finally saw this animated because this is my favorite of all the things in classroom this is my favorite so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching volume 11 has concluded so there's a lot of cut contents so be sure to read them if you want to though uh i'm not gonna mention them <laughs> i already mentioned them but i'm not gonna tell you the whole story so yeah you should read it by yourself now so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching peak yeah <laughs> but if i am being honest what uh, which one's better the chess match or the ryu and fight to be honest the ryu and fight is better it's well choreographed and uh yeah but in the chess match the animations the visuals all of them were much smoother than episode 12 of season 2 the ryu and fight and the anakoji fight like that fight had some bad visuals in some areas but it wasn't all that bad it's barely noticeable but for this one you can actually see that they really did this episode so much justice they did this fight so much justice they didn't show the ryuin versus ichinose but yeah i'm gonna give you a spoiler ryuin won okay so <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one 11.5 yeah Peace out.